you know what time it is. never stopped. Even with the girls there, we still had lasts. And day in, day out, parents were running, women were running with their children, moving from one home to the other. It continued. Even those who were in town, who thought it could be better for them, felt very bad, always gloomy about what had happened to these girls. So each time they are together somewhere, the discussion is nothing but what could be happening to their fellows in the uh, Boko Haram camp. Some who were even released couldn't find themselves the same anymore. Each time they looked at the mirror, they found themselves in chains. And then, so, here we come. Thank you very much. The girls have been forced into marriage. 
members of Boko Haram. You can see the result of that. The young girl and the Boko Haram man with that baby. They would have wished it didn't happen. In October 2016, it was reported that 21 of the Chibok girls have been released. We thank God for that. And they are now dressed up. We are praying for hope for these girls. We are praying for peace in Nigeria. This is the prayer of the University of Port Harcourt. And so, prayer for Nigeria in distress continues. You can say the women, you can say. Prayer for Nigeria in distress. My Vice Chancellor, sir. I think uh, Prof. Bridget Mwanze and her team deserve a round of applause. Not many people coming from us have realized that she's one of our finest professors. Um, we want to thank the young man who's painted in paint. What a great artist he is. We want to thank all those who participated in this project. I, I was just I was just flabbergasted to see the kind of creativity that they can put together in such a short time. Richard Wednesday, what can we do without you? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank the team. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You know what time it is. Uh.